Hi everyone, just decided to make a quick video. Uh, most of people, uh, when they're repairing an iPhone and it's draining the battery very quick, assume that it's a TriStar U2 IC problem, which is, uh, in most of cases, it will be the case, but uh, how to distinguish if that's one of the problems or it can be caused by anything else. I'll make a real quick video now. We have two successes here. Yeah, and um, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I showed, <laughs> showed details of the company that I repair it for. Uh, never mind, I, I do repair for half of Leeds these days uh, for phone shops. So basically, we have two successes, same symptoms. Customer said that uh, they drain battery really quick as it's fully charged and then when it drains it's not possible to charge it anymore so a quick test they gave me both phones and said the u2 ic needs doing so it is a u2 ic on that one but it's not a u2 ic on this one and it's a lot more serious problem here uh, so what we do is not everyone's got a dc power supply like that one so i'll show you the most shop will have a, a multi-charger with a little screen there that just shows the link to the battery when you plug the phone in let me do that so what happens when i plug it into the one that it is a u2ic because i've already tested i know uh, so i plug the cable in you see and the screen lights up and it shows it's charging and also it's turning on and sometimes it shows the battery charge on the screen and it shows that it's empty. You see it gone off now. And probably, yeah, it comes on again. So the main thing is that the link here is showing that the battery is charging, which I know is completely depleted at the moment. So that's why it won't come on. It will just boot loop nonstop. Uh, a second ago it was just showing me an empty battery sign. So if, I plug into that one, same symptoms, draining battery really quick. There we go. There is nothing on the screen. You see, it lights up, but it's shorted out. So it lights up and goes off straight away. So this is a quick uh, test on a simple USB charger with a screen. So what that means is there is a short here and there is no short in that one. And then short, short in that one, I've already also tested, diagnosed uh, with an infrared camera. It's, it's a very common one. It's located in the top microchip, in the top left corner, which is a Wi-Fi chip. Yes, the phone will drain the battery when the Wi-Fi chip is shorted internally. And unfortunately, to replace the Wi-Fi uh, chip, you need to unlock it and you need to reprogram it and you need to have a special type of programmer which is a uh, time consuming uh, long repair whether that one is a straightforward uh, tristar ic resoldering under a microscope takes you know, 15 minutes or so including the assembly and assembly back so if you have a constant power dc power supply i'll show you you just put 4.2 volts And the one that's U2 I see. Just take it off. And then extreme screen bandage. <laughs> yes, you can bend the screen, but you need to be very careful not to damage these wires. You just do it like that. So the 6S connector. There we go. So we'll plug that in. You see, and it's already showing the current and it shows here as well. And if I flip it over and I turn it on, the current should go up. Oh, damn it, of course it's not going to, it's going to now. So. Sorry for my voice, I'm just full of cold. There you go, it's coming on. Started taking more current. 
which looks absolutely normal. So basically that DC power supply, what it does right now, it imitates a fully, charging ba a fully charged battery. So that would be the same thing happening if you'd plug in already pre-charged battery, but it needs to be fully charged to be able to provide enough current. <laughs> so the phone will boot now. And that is a clear indication. You see, it just shows a full battery side here, which battery is not even connected, as you can see. Um, with that one, it's totally different. As soon as you plug in the DC power supply, the voltage goes down and the current goes up. So it starts draining a lot more current because there's a short in the Wi-Fi chip. But when you put it to zero to 10 amp, imitating the fully charged battery, it would also turn on. It's just, I, I've already put it back together uh, to return it to them because I'm not going to reprogram the, the Wi-Fi chip. Not for this sort of device. <coughs> it takes too long and it's not worth it. Uh, so basically, the current starts to go up right away and the phone will still turn on with a full battery, but the battery will drain not because of a TriStar fault, but because of a constant shortage inside the Wi-Fi chip and it also gets really extremely hot, whether that one with a TriStar U2 IC, it don't get hot, the temperatures are normal everything's normal it just drains it fast so that one is a straightforward 15 minute repair with the resoldering of a new let me try to focus my camera i've done a couple today already one of them so this is uh, an a3 for 6s tristar ic and if you wish to know how the wi-fi chip looks <laughs> I've got one here as well, which I took off from one of my tester boards. This is how it looks, but that's already, that's the corner where it's shorted out in that corner here, there's a controller. There's a number of uh, capacitors there, but they're all fine. I've already tested them. The controller gets extremely hot because the internal chip inside that chip uh, is shorted out and you need to reprogram the baseband in order to transfer from another board there we go this is the the worst case scenario of the battery drain is when the wi-fi chip is shorted because all the rest shortages like uh, vcc main shortage shortage in another ic chip or sometimes shortage in the sound ic chip sometimes just shortage because of a, a blown capacitor all is repairable relatively quick simple using the thermal camera seek which is probably one of the best um, within half an hour i would say all the rest is done and that one is extreme like most of uh, repair shops would not even have a programmer neither they would have skills to do that and i'll be honest with you I don't have a programmer for that one. I do have skill though. <laughs> uh, but it don't make me any good if I don't have a programming machine. So that will be it. It's a quick video. So don't assume right away that you need to replace, blindly replace TriStar. Be wasting your time, <coughs> wasting money. Uh, and obviously you're gonna get upset at the end because it's not gonna fix anything if you're gonna replace the TriStar in that one So but yeah, let's go ahead and repair that one Thanks for watching guys. Don't make stupid mistakes Stay strong stay positive Do repairs Peace